Okay, here we are. Once again, I am flushing the um, Renai water heater that I have. And so let me just back up a bit. And here it is on the side of our home. Best thing that I ever did was to put in a tankless water heater. Um, here's the controls. Um, so basically, here's what I did. I turned off the power. Then I turned off the water here and the hot water here. This time I did something different. I opened up the valve here and the flush valve here before I put the hoses on and let the water drain out of the tank. Then I put two bottles that are a gallon and a half each. I put them into the pail. I connected the cold to the pump and then I connected the hot up here so that it drains back in and now I'm going to let it run for an hour and it's going to decalcify the uh, tank and so let me just get a shot from here um, I believe that there are places that charge $150 to do this I bought the pump on Amazon and then I bought the hoses and the vinegar cost me five dollars and away we go and so I didn't turn off the gas I can so there I just turned off the gas not that that means anything and you can clearly see how easy it is to connect everything everything is just finger tight I used washers and I'm always I'm always amazed at how warm the water is from the pump at the end of the hour so um, all I'll do at the end is I will turn the cold water on after I close I'm gonna close this off I'm gonna open this and I'm gonna flush all the vinegar out and just let it go back into the pail and then I'll dispose of the vinegar and away we go I kinda of contemplated just closing everything up and then running the uh, shower downstairs to flush the vinegar through the lines um, I'll do some reading on that first because I was kinda of wanting to run it through the shower head to decalcify uh, the shower head down in our one bathroom but I'm not sure if that would be the best thing to do running straight vinegar onto a into a tile shower so I'll, th I'll think that through and maybe do it next time